creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video today we're doing another take five art challenge and i'm so excited to share this with you uh, i made a tag this time around and i really struggled with this actually so i'm always excited to share things with you that i struggle with because i think sometimes you see me just whipping through things like they're super easy uh, because I usually just go with the flow. So I'm excited to share this with you today. This month's prompts were chosen by Sylvia. All the information about the Take 5 Art Challenge will be in the description box below, but I will touch on the specifics a little later on in case you are new and you haven't heard of it. So anyway, basically there's five prompts <laughs> that I'm going to be using today and one of the prompts is to use two stamps or stencils and I chose to use stencils so you can see me here just rifling through my collection. I do have to say stencils are not something that I use very often especially now. I used to use them a lot but I don't really find myself ever pulling them out. Uh, I prefer to just kind of build my pages with uh, items in doodle to be honest I think the reason I don't use stencils much anymore is because one uh, I'm too impatient to watch things dry <laughs> to wait for things to dry and two uh, there you have to clean them up after and it just I don't know I don't like having to take the time to clean up so uh, but anyway I'm pushing myself today and we're using the stencils First, I chose to use this stencil. It's like a liquor bottle. I think it's just a piece of cardboard that I cut out, honestly, from a box at one point. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to take these skulls and do like a pirate sea type thing because I also found this uh, like coral and seaweed stencil, which you'll see in a minute. But as I got going, I totally abandoned the bottle idea and just went with a stencil i uh, not a stencil <laughs> went with a full tag so i'm using this skull stencils the stencil is by dilutions uh ranger and then i'm also using some distress oxide ink this is in the fossilized amber color which is one of my favorites again a material not a material a medium there we go that's the word <laughs> need more coffee uh material um, oh, la, 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 la. let's start again distress oxide is not a medium that i use very often anymore so i was happy to uh, pull that out as well uh, and i'm just gonna take the extra ink that i had on the stencil and add some water to it and use it uh, as a little bit of addition in my journal because I mean if I'm gonna have to clean it I might as well use it somewhere you know where it's gonna be of benefit and not just on like a paper towel that I'm gonna throw away or something so I'm going ahead and doing that just kind of mashing that into my journal insert this is my new journal that I'm working in so if you've been following me for a while you know all this year I was using a giant journal and I just switch journals and I made a whole video about it uh, which I posted a few days ago so if you missed that I will leave that linked in a card so you can check that out but anyway I'm just taking that little sponge and using the rest of the ink to make a little bit of a border and we are moving on to prompt number two which is include a tea bag or coffee filter so uh, also I should probably should mention Prompt number three is a monochromatic color palette, so that's why we're going for all yellows here. So I had this tea bag. It was like a turmeric tea, so I thought maybe it would uh, give off some yellow color. So I'm just kind of getting it wet and dabbing it on here. I'm not sure if the tea, if the color came from the tea bag or if it came from the distress ink that I was kind of wetting, but whatever the case, it worked. Uh, so I did that and then I'm going to play with this uh, kind of coral seaweed stencil and I decided to use some fluorescent yellow paint also from Dilutions and just 
go ahead and use the tea bag as like a little sponge to dab it through the stencil and this actually worked super well uh, so if you don't have any makeup sponges uh, you can use a tea bag <laughs> to do that but anyway while I'm doing this the take five art challenge is a challenge that I host every other month not every other that I host every month with 11 other ladies who are all in, linked in the description box and it's a challenge that we put out monthly to inspire you guys to get out of your comfort zone and create some art it can be a really inspiring project so basically you just take the five prompts and you make some kind of art piece out of it uh, a lot of people do art journal pages but i change it up every month uh, i do tags and all sorts of crazy things uh, the past couple months i've just been using the prompts and randomly putting them in my journal uh, to get me started during a journal session so if you're interested in that i'll leave those linked uh, for you as well but yeah we always invite you guys to participate we love seeing what you come up with it's super inspiring just to watch everybody else uh, having fun with them so you can use the hashtag take five art on youtube and instagram uh, to show us what you made and we like to share those and things there's also a playlist of videos over on Kyra's channel. She is the creator of the challenge officially um, <laughs> where you can see everybody else's videos uh, which is awesome. So back to what I'm doing. Uh, I was really stuck at this point. I had the paint. I had the stencil. I was all gung-ho and then I was like what in the heck am I going to put on this tag? So I started pulling out a bunch of yellow ephemera that I have and nothing was working <laughs> like uh it looked okay but it just didn't feel right for this tag uh i looked through so many different like piles of stuff that i had and tried so many things i cut a lot of this out so you didn't have to sit through me doing this no joke i tried to make the ephemera work for like 20 minutes it was a whole thing and then i gave up and i was like you know what we're not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and resort to my comfort zone to kind of get me recharged back into this. So I pulled out my black paint, my trusty old black paint that I use for everything, and I made some brush strokes. I did this because prompt number one is to add lyrics of a song you like. So I was like, okay, I can write on these, I'm gonna put these on here, and then I'll continue kind of building the background, if you will, around these black focal points. And getting that black on there just made everything seem like so much easier <laughs> uh, because that that's my comfort zone the black so doing this yellow uh, monochromatic color scheme uh, was definitely challenging for me but like I said it made it a lot easier once I added the black so now we are on to the final prompt which is a rub-ons and I've had these rub-ons for like seven years probably like literally forever these are Tim Holtz rub-ons I don't even know if they make them anymore um, I don't really like rub-ons but I'm so glad that this prompt came up and I used them for this tag because I think it turned out amazing so uh, on that sheet was just it was a ton of words and they're pretty small which of course I wouldn't have used on a regular project as those words because you know the nature of rub-ons is they stick to like whatever you rub them on <laughs> so rubbing one would be impossible but anyway I just use them to kind of add some texture and stuff to the sides of the tag and I really really like how it came out I rubbed them in staggering ways um, I didn't worry about keeping any specific words together or phrases uh, and it also just kind of blended in and overlapped with the black paint swatches and made it look like the words were still there before the paint swatches which was perfect for the composition I was going for so after I got that in, I was like, okay, I need some more depth with this color. And the rub-ons kind of act a little bit like a resist, which is great. Uh, so you can still see them pretty well. So all this like stuff I'm putting on top didn't really cover them up. It dulled some of them down a little bit, but they still stood out pretty well. So I'm just taking some 
acrylic ink or watercolor ink I'm not quite sure which one um, and I put it on there and then I'm dabbing it with my finger and I'm just spreading it around I don't want full coverage because I want the different layers to be able to show through because it adds to the depth of that monochromatic yellow but I did that and then I'm adding some glitter spray again from Dilutions. Can you tell I have a favorite brand? Hello, Ranger, sponsor me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but anyway, this video isn't sponsored, just so you know. But if you, you're from Ranger and you'd like to, I'm, I'm totally down, send me an email. <laughs> anyway, um, all jokes aside, I am using the shimmer spray from Dilutions in the sunshine color and adding again, this is more of like a deep yellow gold color. So I'm just putting it on. At first I did splatters and I didn't like how the splatters looked. So I mushed it on with my finger and then I used a paintbrush and here we are. So now of course I have to wait for all of that to dry. So I figured I would go ahead and open up my journal insert and stick in some of these things that were on my desk. It's a sticker from a package that I got a couple days ago. And then I had all that yellow ephemera that I had pulled out that I didn't end up using. So I picked a few pieces like this star ticket uh, and this game card and just kind of put them in my journal to spice it up a little bit uh, because it's paint drying you know it just takes too long <laughs> which is another reason why I love uh, Ranger and Dilutions products is because they dry super fast which is amazing so I'm just kind of auditioning this tag here and there it's dry for the most part like I could touch it but I do want to put of course paint pen and stuff on it so I need it to dry a little more so now that this is mostly dry, because you know, hashtag patience, um, I'm adding, it was supposed to be lyrics, and usually I am like, I always add lyrics of songs to my journals, I absolutely love it, but I didn't have a song that I was like currently feeling the vibes of, which is very rare for me, but I've been listening to a lot of like meditations and talks and I have this woman uh, on manifestation that I'm listening to and she talks about um, developing a belief that things are always the better it gets the better it gets uh, for you that just because something good happens it doesn't mean something not good has to happen uh, it gets to be better and better and better so I just kind of wrote the better it gets the better it gets and which is <laughs> one of her things that she says a lot uh, Amanda Francis, if you'd like to check her out, I will try to remember to leave her linked below. Uh, but yeah, I put that on there and it just, I'm so excited to put this in my journal. Um, as you can see, I really changed the prompts up to work for me, which I definitely encourage you to do. Uh, if you don't have one of the supplies, use whatever you have. It doesn't have to be rub-ons, use stickers instead. Whatever you got, do it, make it work, have fun. Uh, push yourself out of your comfort zone, pull back a little if you need to, like I did with that black, to make it work for you, and just have fun and create something that actually like means something for you in your life right now, that you're excited to put uh, into your journal or hang on your wall or whatever it is that you like to do. So that brings me to the end of this video, you guys. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today and that you found my uh, project and thoughts inspiring. So like I said, don't forget to check out the description box below with all the information about the Take 5 Art Challenge. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Uh, let me know down below something that you're loving right now, a song, a, a mentor, whatever you're listening to. I'd love to know and check it out. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are amazing. A huge thank you as well to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They help make what I do over here possible and still uh, pay my bills and feed my puppy dog. So huge love to them. If you want to check out the Patreon community, the link is always in the description box below. And with all of that being said, I will catch you guys again very soon. Take care, guys.